Hi guys, thanks for watching Andy here. Let's do a three card tarot spread and a couple of oracle cards for the sign of Capricorn. Uh, and I'm asking for three cards please uh, from this deck for the sign of Capricorn regarding the full moon on the 19th of April 2019. The full moon in Libra, which is actually going to go on in terms of its effects until the, uh, the next full moon in May, which is actually one month which is what a calendar month gets its name from so it's a real month okay so cards please for capricorn for the full moon on the 19th of april 2019 in libra okay let's see what we've got okay oh right well, while i was shuffling this one fell out which is just the uh, it's the sort of main cover card thing that goes with this deck, but a very magical symbol, a very potent symbol, and it has different meanings depending which way up you put it. But there is a lot of magic around Capricorn, and that's an interesting thing because Cappies do like to hang on tight. And, uh, you know, I know as a spiritual kind of person, many of my friends are Capricorns who are bang into spiritual goings on and spiritual practices, but it is a very practical sign is Capricorn. Uh, so this is going to seem an odd one. And that's why I said, ooh, it's the Prince of Wands. Okay, very, very fiery, very much about things happening, uh, very much about kind of new things happening and being out there and unpredictability. But look how rock solid this image actually is. Um, it's kind of, the uh, the character is very firmly seated above the flames here uh, on a sort of a bench thing. The point is it's a very solid platform uh, that this character is sitting on. Uh, we've got sunlight, we've got firelight all mixing in together. And I've got that Statue of Liberty feeling coming up here as well. Uh, with I don't know how well you can see that, but I can see it a bit in my screen, so I guess you can. And we, we've got all these rays radiating uh, as if from the crown, really. So Capricorn, it's um, it's a fiery time in the crown chakra. There are spiritual goings on. Uh, don't feel too shaken by it, though, Cappy, because it is going to be possible to be sort of four square solid sitting on your platform. And we've got a spiritual journey going on here because there is a kind of a chariot image in there as well. Okay, so we're going places, Cappy. There's no way to stop it. Let me drink some water because I like to do that. Mmm. Right, so can we have the second card for Cappy, please? Oh, and this is pretty much the heart of the matter. And what we've got here is the devil. And of course, we've got a very strong goat image there. And uh, so this is Cappy facing your demons. That's what's going to be uh, coming up over the next month. This doesn't all happen uh, on full moon day. The effects of the full moon in Libra on Thursday, or is it Friday in fact, sorry, Friday, the 19th of April 2019, will go on until the full moon in May. So there's plenty of time for this to happen. And it's not about new demons coming in, uh, Cappy. It's about facing demons that actually exist already. That can sometimes reveal other demons that we didn't know we had, but they're there already. It's no new kind of, not new evil things coming in, nothing like that. Uh, but it's becoming aware of the dark side and becoming aware that actually there is no light without dark. You know what I mean? Um, if it wasn't for the, the dark side of things, we would not know how light it was. Simple as that, really. So we'll move on now to, to the third card for Capricorn for the full moon in Libra uh, on the 19th of April 2019. And we've got, from the Trumps, we've got number 14 and it's art. Okay. Just take a look at that. I'm seeing something of temperance in there and I'm seeing something of strength in there as well. Um, you know, in the in the strength situation, the uh, the woman in the Rider Waite deck and in a great many pictorial decks in the strength card, the woman is holding the lion's mouth open and it looks a very stress-free situation showing that triumph can come. And that's what I'm picking up here, Cappy. Okay, we've got a great, uh, great raging fire going in this gold bowl here. But it is gold, it's fire coming from a good place. It's spiritual inspiration, again, to move forward instead of just holding on tight all the time. You can see this lady is very solidly stood on the ground here. And uh, she, there's almost a sense of justice here as well. And this is the balance of the Libra full moon uh, coming into play. There is a balance going on between, I believe, the phoenix and this lion creature. 
I must find out more about tarot card mythology because I don't really know. Okay, but it's number 14. Um, so we've got two sevens there, kind of magic, magic, but not quite all the way to 21 yet. However, let us think, actually. That's made me think about uh, the general journey in astrology and the human heart and soul towards 2020 because artificial intelligence is coming into the picture more and more. Uh, this would be quite a disturbing thing for just about anyone, but it's particularly tricky for Cappies because uh, things are just going to be different to the way they've been before. And many people are saying, well, what's the difference? What difference is it going to make? Uh, to me, I would say we're going to go cashless, which is going to be a very strange thing. But somehow, you know, we'll cope because human beings always do. It's a fact of life. But we've got a mixed bag in this in this spread. We really have, Cappy. We've got the gold. We've got the fire. I'm seeing fire also uh, in the final card of it here in art. And that's much more of a creative fire. This to me is something a bit more like the, uh, the Tower of Destruction in a sense creeping into the idea of the spiritual journey you know something needs to give somewhere along the line but you're already on your journey when you become aware of this copy that's the difficult thing that's what brings up facing your demons which needs to be done and it's not facing all of them either it's facing some in particular uh, possibly around relationships and uh, possibly around substances, uh, drinking too much, anything like that. Maybe you don't drink enough. I mean, I'm not trying to tell anybody how much to drink, but I think that's where the demons might come up in some sense. OK, but be creative and remember that underneath whatever else has attached itself to you in this life, you do have this balance coming. You do have this real ability to be solid and to have justice. And justice is really important to Cappies uh, because they tend to hang on tight no matter what. And that means that they're very often attending to the matter at hand rather than sort of chasing down, settling old scores and that kind of thing. Uh, very practical, very much in the moment, people, Cappy. So look for some justice there. Uh, possibly some money being repaid. Possibly someone showing you respect who disrespected you in the past. Something around that. That's what I'm giving Cappy. One second. I really do like plenty of water to drink in these. Mm. Now, guys. I am having a bit of a drive to uh, get as many subscribers as I can at the moment. And uh, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do and tap the bell to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, the reason I'm asking in particular now is that if I can get up to a thousand subscribers, uh, then I can actually go live on YouTube again using my mobile here. Uh, the amount of equipment I would have to invest in to go live through my desktop just doesn't bear thinking about. You'd think it'd be the same thing, wouldn't you? But it certainly isn't. You've got to kind of have... Oh, just things have got to be set up differently. Uh, so that would actually help even more than money at the moment. It would just save me a shed load of money if I can get a thousand subscribers. But I really do want to get back to those uh, live videos because that uh, really is what has brought us together in the beginning that, that kind of started this leg of the Twig Brother channel thing expanding and taking off and reaching people. And that's what it's all about. Okay, so let's just ring the bell and right, get back down to business, Capricorn. Okay, uh, things are coming to you, you know, rewards are coming to you. There is no escaping the rewards when you go through the fire like that. It's kind of no pain, no gain. This isn't a terribly, tragically painful situation coming up, but it's one where people move on when maybe they didn't want to move on, uh, or it's one where people kind of take a turn they didn't maybe want to take, but they find ways of making the best of it because they face their demons. That is really what matters. And, you know, art, creativity, you do have all that within you. That is a powerful thing within Capricorn. So look at the colours in, in this, well, the colours in the symbols and the signs in this card. And let me come over here. I was going to try and read this, but um, no, I need my glasses on. But it says something really amazing around there. And uh, so if I can't actually read it and I'm drawn to it, what it's telling me is um, it's another form of art, really. Beautiful writing. It has a practical purpose. Much of art has a practical purpose, Cappy. So uh, do not be afraid to be more creative than usual going forward because this moon transit is going to be a good one for you in that sense. Okay, let us now have a Work Your Light card from this deck by Rebecca Campbell. For Capricorn, please. Tell us some more about Capricorn. For the full moon in Libra on the 19th of April 2019, going forward a month. Tell us some more about Capricorn, please. For the full moon in April, going forward for one month. Tell us some more, please, about Capricorn. 
for the full moon in April going forward one month. And I have a feeling we're in the realms of love here. Okay, this is the card that's come out, Birthing a New Age. Okay, and uh, you can give birth to ideas, you can give birth to children, you can give birth to uh, a new age. And, uh, you know, this is, this is why men like tinkering with cars. We can't have babies, so we have cars instead, and we kind of get them to do things, and we have pets. But it's love, it's reaching out, and this Cappy is something that sorely needs doing, I feel. Uh, we've been through Mercury Retrograde uh, recently, where nobody knows what everyone else is talking about, and it all becomes very, very difficult to be down to earth and to be practical. Practical. But uh, do try and let go a bit because the uh, your higher heart chakra is singing out to you, Cappy, at the moment. Look at all the healing there. Look at all the possibilities. Um, it seems to be a theme, actually, in this whole set of readings since I started with Aries. Uh, that love is coming, great things are coming, but maybe not yet. Maybe we need to get facing the right direction. This is going to vary depending on whoever you are uh, watching, the, uh, watching the video here because it's going to vary a bit for everybody. Not everyone can take everything and that pretty much is okay but look at the healing look at the stars and Capricorn that is what I'm going to say to you keep on looking upwards okay um, you know if, if you fly in a plane you've got to keep the nose above the horizon if you let the nose go below the horizon for too long the plane crashes okay Capri so keep looking up <clears throat> Um, you've got more than enough skills as Capricorns to keep your feet on the ground enough to be steady but keep looking up as well as keeping your feet on the ground okay because that is where the answers are well thanks again for watching folks I really appreciate all the new subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet please do for the reasons I went on about at great length a minute ago uh, leave me a comment my friends we'll share the journey Thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, you know what to do, which I've probably said already. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Keep it real. Keep it Twig Brothers Psychic. And I will be here again soon before you know it. Goodbye.